We welcome you to Pocono Raceway, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fast racetrack tucked in the scenic hill, Pocono, scenic Pocono, Pennsylvania mountains. With a mile long front straight, the longest front straight in NASCAR, and a wide front straight oh, that's even wider than Brighton's track, high school track and field, which is off, which is actually a stop on the IHOP Cup Series circuit. This is TNT's first IOP Cup Series race, and we will bring you some pretty crazy stuff. Hello everyone, I'm Bill Ever on the TNT War Wagon alongside 1973 Winston Cup champion Benny Parsons. Benny, what can you expect from this race today? This is Pokemon. This track is unique and weird. Three different turns, named from, modeled from three different tracks. Turn one over here is now modeled, was modeled after Trenton Speedway, which is now defunct, I think. Turn two, tunnel turn. Expect a lot of drivers to have trouble there because of the curb. Curb that pops out and can easily ruin your day. Hey, that was modeled after Milwaukee. And you go down into turn three. The t this could be the turn that can decide if you win. Or you're in the garage. Well, honestly, another story here when we get uh, to it here is uh, that we need to get to is weather. Though it is mid July and rain is obviously expected and fear of hurricanes are expected, compared to the beautiful Saturday night forecast we had last week at Daytona, we have overcast skies. And Mid 80s, actually, which is unusual for mid July in uh, Pennsylvania. Actually, um, yeah. Unusual that you'll see this kind of weather. So the start time has been pushed up from 1 15 p.m. Eastern all the way to 1 03, which is not f far from now. This week's poll winner. Jackson Hunter running the fastest lap in qualifying. He actually did it while running the top, which is very difficult to do here. Do it, Pocono, because your ever your car does its best on the bottom, especially with the repave. Yet you repave, people can just go onto the apron. But ever since the repave in 2012, they treated the track treated as like the curb was longer, like it was a curb, like Martinsville. This track made safety improvements back in 2010 after Elliot Sadler's horrific accident, which his engine was torn out of his car. Now let's uh, get down to pit road with last week's winner and so far the hottest driver in NASCAR, Dave Burns. Jacob Tube starts fourth today. Do you got your buddy Dylan Romo in front of him? What is your guys' plan at the start? All right, because. Things usually get chaotic at this time. Well, it's really pretty simple. I talked to him in practice, and at the start, he told me to get on it and just start shoving him. Clear the two, because he wants the bottom going in the one. But of course, this is Pocono, and anything can happen, and you can be first going into the corner, and you can probably come out in the mid 20s. I've asked Jake, uh, Jacob, uh, Jeff Gordon, who is the winningest driver here on how to get around this track, gave me some pretty helpful tips, and we are a where you could be a fight to win this race. Starting fourth, and could he, Jacob Tube starting fourth today, could he go three in a row? Now let's get the command and the starting grid next on TNT.